Hey there, Hexlings. So I just got done grinding a bunch of souls. Uh, you can go ahead and take a look at the stats there. Um, so I dumped a bunch into Endurance so that we can actually roll with all of our armor on. Uh, we're pretty close to the cap, though, so, um, you know, eventually we're going to have to take care of that. I'm going to see. I don't I think can you can weapons. upgrade shields. Oh, I can. Hardstone, though. I need six of those for the claymore. Does it increase the guard break? Hmm. Increases the attack power, which it's not like I attack with this at all. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade the claymore to level two, and then we'll start focusing on the kite shield. Um, there is another shield oh, I eventually want to swap to using. Um, we got this purple flame shield, which will definitely help us out um, in the fight coming up. Uh, this is a great shield, though. So if we go ahead and put this on, uh, we still got a ways to go to be able to wear that uh, without taking armor off. But if we take the helmet off, we can actually still light roll with it. So uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is for the entire dungeon we're gonna keep our helmet on um, and then for the boss is a fire spider so then we'll go ahead and swap to that flame shield for that fight but we also want the dodge because when you get close to her she has physical okay so we're just gonna go ahead and get started here Let's see if we can find any buddies to go with. I think I still have the bow with me. I do. So what we'll do right now... Surprised that's not hitting me. We'll get a little bit closer. That should definitely be hitting this guy. That's kind of silly. There we go. I don't think we're going to hit that guy. But there is a summon sign over here now, so we'll go ahead and pull that up. Play with some people while we can, while my internet is not deciding to be poop. This guy sells his stuff. Well, there we go, guys. Now we have a Claymore Plus 2 whenever we go back. Oh, this isn't going to work. He's not going to show up. I can already tell. Okay, so we'll go... I don't think I got enough souls. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. Fuck. 
Thank God for stupid fast loading on the PS5, though. That would have took, like, three minutes <laughs> in any other Souls game. So we'll go ahead and talk to our boy here, Boland. Not repair, upgrade, we want to upgrade to play more. We need... 550. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do then, that should be easy to get. We're just gonna go to the inner ward one more time. I can't tell you how long I've been in this place, but it's been uh, about uh, a long time. Let's just put it that way, a long time. Um, but I definitely wanted to make sure I was prepared for what is to come. That is that. You go ahead and get this guy to come after me. It's because that guy gave me 400 souls. That was weird. I'm not used to that. We can do quite a few slashes too, which is really good with that stamina. So, I mean, overall, this was a really good idea to go for. Because we were only being able to do like two hits, so we couldn't keep the enemy staggered. But this way, we'll uh, be able to stagger the enemy, get more hits off, and kill stuff. Oh, yeah. the okay, so that's definitely enough souls. So we're going to go upgrade the Claymore, go back to uh, Archstone 2, level 1, and... Uh, see how far we can get through that. Okay. So, we're gonna go to the Nexus. I can forge weapons for you. So I need eight hard stone shard you now. Come back alive. <clears throat> okay. So back to the smithy ground. We hath returned. Oh shit, that's a crystal lizard right there. Get back here. Oh boy, look at that. Hardstone times eight. So we'll go. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go upgrade the Claymore again. And then we'll come back, kill that crystal lizard again. Because your souls. In this game, I think you can kill them like three times. In the other games, you can only. Um... So we'll need 550. We'll need three hard stone and three large hard stone. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get another large hard stone. From this crystal lizard. No, oh, look, he's not there. That's weird. I got him. I got the first one three times, which was odd to me in the first place. Ooh, but hell. yeah.
We'll go ahead and get rid of the rest of these souls. Just so there is absolutely nothing to lose. Uh, we got fire resistance on right now. I should have brought a mail breaker, but I'm thinking this is leveled up enough to where uh, not having a piercing effect will be fine. <coughs> Looks like we're not going to find any buddies here. I'll give it a few more seconds. We are quite a high level, so it's not that surprising that we can't find any friends. Don't get hit by a bull. Oh, that was... Stupid close. Just wanted to check the tendency of the other world real fast. This has to be a shortcut, right? That's gotta end up being a shortcut somewhere. Yeah, see, these guys would have been dead already if I had a piercing weapon. So there's some doggos in this room. We'll get the backstabs where we can. And try to avoid the dogs as much as possible. I can't believe these guys are only giving me three souls. It's the way the butter cuts, I guess. And we're gonna have the dogs come out now. Anything soft and squishy is going to die fast. Anything hard like stone is going to take a couple hits. So it's definitely more effective. Okay, I'm going to go back to the beginning really fast, get hit with a boulder, I already know it's going to happen. But see if that was enough time for somebody to lay a sign down. Just because I want to fly through this place. Nope. Whatever, I don't need friends anyway. <clears throat> We're gonna clear this like a boss, solo. Like we did everything so far. <clears throat> Damn, I was hoping for like a large hard stone there.
Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and send some stuff back to <clears throat> our storage. Can't send that because we're gonna need it later. Okay. I did not know there was two of those guys. We got plenty of healing items though, so we should be pretty set here. Let's see what this white slime stuff does. View it with magic. Nice. I don't know why I thought I would be safe there. of these guys right here. Let's draw them down here. A little bit more open area. You all gonna drop down here? You drop down from the other place. Yeah, you are. Oh shit. getting quite a bit of stuff, so let's go ahead and put that all back in storage. And then we'll do pick X. Okay, so I kind of want to just get to the checkpoint here, and then we'll finish off the video, and then we'll run through the rest of the dungeon, but right now... Uh, we did clear out that area down there. It's looking like we'll have to drop down anyway.
There's a large hardstone shard that we were looking for. That hurt. Like, bad. I did not need to use that. Was there. I think we are anyway. <laughs> you see, I've gotten to the spider before, but... I had somebody with me, so they kind of just ran through the entire thing stupid fast. Alright, so where do we go? Where do we go? From here. Because there's got to be a lever somewhere, right? You think? To open that gate. Oh yeah, it's right there, I'm an idiot. There we go! <laughs> we we kind of like suicide rolled right into the right place and didn't follow through. But I definitely would not call that bastard a magician, just saying. Definitely more of like a Judicator or Judicator, like one of those judge people from like medieval times. That's what he kind of looks like to me. Okay. So we just need to get our little butts up here. I have no idea how we're going to get that because you can't. I, well, I haven't found out how to jump if you can. Switch magic. <clears throat> Move, camera reset, use, interact, evade, sprint, hold. Strong attack, magic. Using bow, general actions. There's no way you can just dodge over that. There's no way. So how the fuck do you get that? I want it. You can't do that. That is so weird. Maybe there's a way that you can get across without breaking the bridge or something? I don't know. I am clueless. Oh, there's probably some place higher that you can drop down onto that. That's what it's gotta be. somewhere right there you can see the platform where you're dropping down from okay so we got that down now what are we doing here now whoa I do not like fire lizard Meltstone. That'll let us reset our upgrades, if we ever need to. 
so I'm not sure where we're headed just yet. You think there'd be a hint? The enemies here are really weird because they seem pretty passive. Until you like mess with them or something. That's when they start getting defensive. Use range attack on the next enemy. Oh, that's a lot of those guys. Do I have any... You know, I highly doubt Firebomb's gonna do anything. But I mean, I guess we can try. Oh, I have throwing knives too. That'll get them off the wall. Alright, then we just have to, just, I don't know what these guys do, so it's kind of scary a little bit. Oh, that's what they do. Okay. Nope. I'm not sure if the guys down there are going to come up. Weird salamanders. Okay, so we got to get water over there. Uh, just as I said, they were passive. Now they got weapons. Flaming hot pointy sticks. Oh, these guys are running. These guys are quick. Okay. Not too bad. It's like a great sword. Got like a fucking great sword right there. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Hard stone. Oh, look at that, the shortcut. It's a pretty fast one, but it's a shortcut. Alright, so we'll go ahead and end off the video there after we pick up this item. Looks like he got invaded. Alright, so we'll uh, leave off the video there and we'll pick up next time. So thanks for watching, guys. I've been Vertihex, your hive mind, and uh, I am signing out.